this is what you would do to try to address all the challenges around mm -hmm. the garden. But also remember, if you have anything that you don't have an answer to, mm -hmm. we have agronomists. Yes. Reach yes. out to the agronomists because the agronomists will be able to help us yeah. to tell us exactly what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. And you remember we are doing an organic farming. So you need to use pesticides and fungicides that mm -hmm. are organic yeah. Yeah. so that you avoid any other problems. When it comes to too many now, we want to export. All those tests will be done against our, our fruits. And mm -hmm. if they have anything mm -hmm. that is risking to the body, they will be rejected. True, true. So we just have to remember that we have to do that and do everything organic. Mm. That is why we are using manure, organic manure. Yeah. We are using water which is not contaminated. Mm. We are using every other fungicide and insecticide that is organic. Yeah. So that you produce something that is going to be consumed not only here, but consumed also outside Uganda, consumed within, consumed within Uganda, in the developed countries in Europe, the market is out there. So yeah. don't fear about the market. There's going to be market here locally, market in our homes, market in our household, markets in the village, market in the town, market in Kampala, market in Kenya, market in Rwanda. I have heard, I've already seen people asking for yeah. this. Market in Sudan, mm -hmm. for us who are in northern Uganda, it's very easy to reach out into, into Sudan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't be scared about the market at all. We will have the market. Okay. And in case we have too much, mm -hmm. there is already provision for what we are calling value addition. Yes. In Kenya, what they have already done now is to drive freeze these apples mm -hmm. and they sell them like crisps. Oh, okay. oh wow. wow. <laughs> wow. And uh, it, is, it is being promoted already. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, next, next week, Kate is going to be in the U.S. to promote the drive freeze fruits. Yeah. There are already five fruits that are being dried free, frozen. Yeah. Yeah. And they taste exactly just like this, yeah. but ah. it's already dry. Yeah. You will have lost, not lost any food value. Mm. The taste would be the same. Yeah. Everything apart from the water, which is not there. Same health benefits. The same health benefits. Wow. Yes. Okay. I think uh, you've touched uh, almost all the questions that I wanted to ask. Yes, I think uh, the last one that I would ask, somebody would be wondering, um, can I plant apples on a specific type of soil? Should it be in a swampy area? Can I plant it like up? What, what do you say about that? Does it require a specific spot like for planting it? Apples are enemies to water. Mm -hmm. So you cannot plant them in a swampy area. Any other place outside, you can plant but also it is good to do uh, testing. Okay. Soil you testing? Soil testing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you do, do the soil testing, we'll be able to see. But in Uganda, I don't think there's a very big problem in terms of our soils. Yes. Sure. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, for safety reasons, you can be able yes, to do yes, that. Yes, yes. But uh, avoid water, because when there is water logging, it will just die. Oh, wow. For apples. Yeah. That is, that is something that you should really avoid. But okay. make sure there's adequate water. We, we need at this point, like we have 20 liters of water mm. per week. Per week? Yes, mm. 20 liters of water per week wow. mm. per plant. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Mm. So now what has happened in this case, our agriculturist, the agricultural engineer has done for us calculation. Mm. So he knows how much water is released for every plant oh, every time they release this okay. so that by the end of the week at least we have 20 liters yeah. oh, of water okay. Okay. for every plant yeah yes okay. but also along the way as the plant becomes bigger it will need more water mm -hmm. so we will have to provide for more holes mm -hmm. to produce i mean to to release more water yeah. for the plants okay yeah i think that's all from my hand thank you so much.